Hey everybody, it's Logstud97. Welcome back to more Spawn Dwellers Core Pants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last time we finished off our adventure at the Chelm Bucket, and in this episode, I have my first special guest of the series. No, my second one, actually. Alright, but anyway, say hello, eat more Pringles 2004. Who lives in the cantaloupe at the bottom of the lake? Somebody. Oh, it's Fultron Swerpants is a ah, reference to the show because I'm doing the game. Funny, funny. I watched a couple of episodes of your SpongeBob Let's Play, and it does look a pretty decent platformer. It really is. Um, yeah, I I will highly recommend it to anybody that likes platforming games. Yeah, that's all. I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the show. I've seen the show. It's like, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's, uh, I don't think it really does it for me, but... You know, I was like, I was watching some episodes of you playing the game. I was like, oh, it looks kind of fun. Yeah. It is, and it's a much better game than it is the show. I mean, the show, back in my day as a young child, I thought the show was <laughs> fantastic. The show sucks now, of course, but... <laughs> hey, you know, they still make pretty good games. Um... Right. But yeah, so basically, huh? Are you going for 100%? Yes, I'm going for 100%. Okay. And, um, in this episode, I'm getting the socks at the Mermel Air. Um, for those of you, well, I guess, so, I guess for anybody that doesn't know the, what the socks really do in this game, um, I don't know. <laughs> what they are, basically, is... How can I explain it? You know, like sunshine. How how you had to get the uh, the blue coins. Yeah. That's okay. basically what this is. It's just for bonus golden spatulas. Just uh, gotcha. so like that was for bonus stars. So um, yeah. What? Uh -huh. Um. Am I still go? Oh, I'm still recording. Yeah. Okay, I'm running low on virtual memory. So hmm. We'll see how this episode plays out. We shall see. We shall see. I really hope I don't lose this. It'll be very embarrassing. But, let's see. Where do I... Oh, I still haven't gotten a spatula that we needed. No, I hate this golden spatula. Oh. Uh, well, this no. is a pretty old game, too, is it? Didn't it come out in, like, what, 2003? 2003. Okay. Now, the next uh, Spongebob game that I want to do is for the PlayStation 1. That's okay. all I'm going to really give out about it. But yeah, that game is really old. But I, I still think this game tops it, but still, it's a pretty fun one, so... Okay. That works. Yes, and I figured I'd really like to do it. I'm going to try and complete every Spongebob game that I can, that I own. Which is four, so... We'll see. Whatever floats your boat. I, I, I let's play, play games that I enjoy playing. I understand? Right. I, I just finished recording all of Majora's Mask, so that's all finished, but I gotta edit. I'm, I'm behind on editing, though. I, um, you were the one that got me to buy Rayman Origins. I was oh, at I'm Target. I was at Target and I saw it for like 20 bucks and I was like, hmm, well. This looks like a very decent game. Because I saw your Let's Play of it, so I was like, alright, I'm going to give it a try. And I'm very hooked on that game. That game is great. It is, it is magical. The, the 2D Rayman games are awesome. In fact, I just bought Rayman Legends, and I am loving it so far. And I'm going to try to put together a four player co op of Rayman Legends, but I have to get with my co op partners, and they live three hours away, so. I have to find some weekends where I'm free so I can go over there and do some mass recordings and then come back and edit because school keeps you very busy so it's going to be very difficult to do. But I am going to try. Okay, yeah. I can definitely understand that the school keeps you very, very yep. busy. And... <laughs> I, I got a lot of writing on this semester because this is supposed to be my last semester of school before I graduate. So. Okay, I mean... You're doing college stuff too, so that's got to be a lot of stress, as yeah. well as doing those plays. Yeah, I'm in a class called Analytical Chemistry, and I'm not a very strong chemistry student either, so... Yeah, that's what I'm in right now as well, is chemistry. Yeah, scary, scary. <laughs> yes, it is. 
I can't agree with you there. Um, what? What? So, Rayman Legends is one of your. Whoa! Sorry about that. I probably just like killed your eardrum. <laughs> um, Rayman Legends is one of your favorite games then on the Wii U. I'm saying, what? Have you done Pikmin Three? Have you played it yet? No, I haven't really got into the Pikmin games. Like I said, I, I played the first Pikmin game a long time ago. I thought that was interesting. I rented it, but it didn't hold my attention enough to want to play it again. Okay. So, and I'm, I'm aware of Pikmin 2, and I've seen Pikmin 3 gameplay, but I don't have that much of an interest to play it. Okay. Yeah, I can completely understand that, too, because, I mean, for some people... It's just like not their what the heck? Mm, not my cup of tea. Yeah, I can totally understand that as well. Yeah, just some people it's really just not their. Not that I think the game sucks or anything. It just doesn't do it for me. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's a great game. Right. Um, that is one thing I have learned though is that Pikmin 2 challenge mode. If I wouldn't have Pikmin 2 story mode, I probably it probably would have been more successful than this game was. But a Pikmin 2 challenge mode um, is not actually getting that popular. And I kind of understand it because, well, first of all, you know, um, for a lot of people, it's not the kind of thing that they want from Nintendo. Uh, because Nintendo's, you know, famous for platformers and a couple, a couple like, RPGs and stuff, you know, Legend of Zelda games. But they're really, I think their struggling area would still be Pikmin. I don't really think they've perfected it yet. Uh, I know a lot of people do like Pikmin. I mean, I'm sure the game's gonna sell pretty decent. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will too. I'm a little disappointed because they took out Alomar. I understand it's time for change. Yeah. I guess. Trying to do something new, which is fine. New is sometimes good, sometimes bad. Yeah, I know my, uh, my Majora's Mask Let's Play isn't very popular, but I, I, I know why. It's it's a game that a lot of people have already Let's Played before, so I'm not bringing anything new to the table. That It's an old game, too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started uploading around the time E3 went on, so there's so many distractions. Everybody's geared up for the next generation PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, you know. So there's, there's so many distractions to it, which I understand, I mean... A few people watched my Majora's Mask Let's Play, but I knew, I understood when I was uploading it that this would not get very many views because this is an older game, there's a lot more exciting stuff in the gaming world happening right now, and everybody has Let's Played this before, so. But hey, that's cool. I did a Let's Play of Ocarina of Time last year, so I made good on my promise to do Majora's Mask this year. Right. There's just my logic behind it. I, for one, beat the game. I actually just beat the game the other day. I just, I um, but I went through most of the game using your Let's Play because I had never taken the time to, you know, figure everything out in it before. And I was like, oh, okay, let's so let's try it. He's Let's Playing it, so let's try it. See what we can, what we can do. And I did it. I did not get a hundred percent because I'm a very lazy person. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of work to 100% this game, much more than Ocarina of Time. There are so many side quests, so many optional things to do. It's just loaded with stuff. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I was actually, at one point, I was very ahead of your videos, and I got stuck, and I was like, well, crap! Now I have to wait. <laughs> so I waited, and then <laughs> the one video came out that I needed it to, and then I was like, alright, alright, sweet. And then I finally beat the game. Nice. So. So yes, I can thank you for that one. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> You're welcome. That's cool. Yeah, that let's play. I just uploaded part 39. It went 55 parts. Oh. Yep. That's oh. that's a lot. It's a, it, the thing is, it went just as many parts as my Ocarina of Time Let's Play did. Ocarina of Time went 55 parts. And so did this. But if you're doing 100% for both games, they're about of equal length. Yeah, I noticed that with um Galaxies 1 and 2 of mine, too. Was that, yeah, they went about equal length. 
Even though Galaxy 2 has far more many, there has far much more to do. It has many, it has more stars, but Mario Galaxy 1 makes you do a whole different playthrough playing as Luigi, though. Yes. Whereas in Galaxy 2, the, the difference is, you know, now you gotta find the green stars to unlock the Grandmaster Galaxy and all that. Right. And, that's, uh, how they, that's how they did it different. But the Galaxy 2 was, believe it or not, was actually really tricky for me to figure out how I wanted to Let's Play it. Because I knew, of course, that I wanted to do it, but I didn't really know how. I mean, because, you know, you have the final boss, Bowser, but then you have all the green stars, so I was just like, well, what the heck am I- OH NO! Oh no! Oh no! Of course. Of course. Well, um, yeah, I wasn't sure how I wanted to lay it out because, um, there was the final boss Bowser and then there was Grandmaster Galaxy. I didn't really know if I wanted to keep the final boss a secret until after we beat it all, or if I just wanted to do it like just a walkthrough, which I ended up doing it like a walkthrough anyways, so. It, it was, it was one of my better Let's Plays. It was good. Of course, you saw my solution to that. Right. I, for the Green Star episode, there's still a lot of cutting and editing. Mm -hmm. So it didn't show me just go through all of that stuff. So I just cut to the chase. Because it's really more like a game of hide and seek. You're just trying to find the Green Stars that are hidden throughout the levels. So I just kind of cut to their general area and me finding them. Right. And then cut to the next one. That's how I did it. That was my solution. Maybe editing and then I just did post commentary for those videos. That was, that was my clever solution to it. And uh, hopefully, my goal is actually with my next Let's Play is to make a not so popular game popular. Cool. So, because I'm doing it co op. So, nice. I'm really hoping I can do that. I'm really hoping I can have a change on it. Nice, you should do more co op if you can. Yes, yeah, so oh, it makes a heck of a difference. Um, yes, it does. What gets me the most views is co-op, but also games that are a bit more new. That's why I'm going to do Rayman Legends, because I know that I'll get a lot more views. Since it's just, it just came out yesterday in America, and uh, my co-op partners agreed to play with me. But like I said, i got to drive three hours over there to them <laughs> to do that. Uh. Yeah, it's... Um, <laughs> the thing was with Trevor and myself... Well, Trevor is in my next Let's Play, by the way. I... Pretty sure I already mentioned it to the public, but I could be wrong. Um, the thing was with us was that in the summer we were going to do a lot of stuff together, not only on this channel but my other channel as well. And we couldn't because um, we couldn't because Trevor something in his uh, house came up, and we just couldn't do it. So I was like, well what so I had to actually put off doing another let's play with him for a very long time and I um, had to put off my other channel for a very long time because he just could never get around to it but the school year is back of course and that's like the only time we can ever do anything for some reason so that's what we have to do and people get busy. I, I can remember uh, when I was left playing New Super Mario Brothers U, doing that five-player co-op. Uh, Paint became very busy because I was back for Christmas break from school. I had planned to record a lot there, but she was only available for like one or two days. Right. Because she just kept getting so busy. And at, at that time, she was going through a lot of stuff too. Eventually she moved to Orlando, Florida. That's where she is now. But thank goodness we got that all that let's play recorded. But she was, just was not available at all, hardly. Oh yeah, I can. Very I can completely understand that. Uh, oh well, that lesson learned. Yeah. I guess so. Snow is. I know Snow's work schedule. I know she'll be available. Uh, Jacob and James, one of the two co-op partners. Uh, they're a lot more reliable in being available than Paint was, so I'm not too concerned about them. Right, I mean, how Trevor and I do it is just, um, 
whenever he comes over, we just, like, pretty much stay up all night and record half of the Let's Play, and then we just schedule another time for him to come back and finish it. And, I mean, it's worked that way for, what, a year and a half now, so... I don't see a reason to mess with it too much, but we actually have a lot to do, because he's actually coming here next weekend at the time of recording this. Because we have, like, so much to do on this channel and my other one. It's just crazy. Yeah. How busy YouTube will make you. Yeah, I know. For real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, makes you, what makes you love it? Man, I mean, to me, it's not hard work. It's just long work. Right. And, um, now that I'm actually... Now that it is technically my job, I, I try and do it whenever I can. Because, yeah, technically, <clears throat> technically, now that it's my job, I, like, try and make myself available whenever possible. So, they actually switched my payment off for some reason. I was never paid for the month of August. I really have no idea why. Well, they just put it in my bank account. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do for me, is they're supposed to put it into my PayPal on my credit card. But they never did. And I was like, what? I messaged the guy yesterday, and he hasn't responded yet, so I'm hoping this wasn't, like, a trick. I, I doubt it. I, I doubt it, too, because on my YouTube page, it says that I'm partnered with Broadband TV Gaming. But... I don't know if it's a trick, because, like... Um, the guy hasn't responded to me. So, I mean, hopefully it's not, but we will see. And did I get it? Did I get it? Did I, yes, I think I got that part. Now let's go over here. So are you going after socks? Oh, uh, well, I was, but then I realized I hadn't done a golden spatula yet. So I have to do that. A very annoying one at that. And... It looks like I just completed it. You know, I'd be very mad if my power went out right now. <laughs> well, I was so afraid that would happen to me when we were recording. Like, if there's a hint of lightning or storm or something, I won't, I won't record at all. <laughs> Neither will I. <laughs> but, um... Oh, boy. Okay, well, it looks like I still have my recording. I haven't lost it or anything, so I'm good, I guess, for now. But now that we're done with that, though, I do want to end things off here. I apologize for only getting one spatula, but hey, it was a really frustrating one to get. <laughs> so, next time on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, speaking of Pate, next time I will actually have her as a guest. So, oh, that's cool. <laughs> yes, and I will be getting some socks and more spatulas, I guess, that we never got. So, thank yeah. you for guessing. Yeah, if you ever go to Universal Studios, you know, look her up. She works there. Sweet. That'd be a really fun job. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, next time I'll have her guesting, and uh, we'll get some more socks and whatnot. So, see you guys then. Say goodbye. Bye. Later. Okay, well, thank you for guesting. <laughs>